Tarn Analytics is a new secure online reporting tool that provides a more dynamic way to view your hospital data. The tool does not replace Tarn's existing reporting and ad hoc analysis is still available to you. This video will demonstrate how to navigate through Tarn Analytics and point out some of the key features of interest. We have also produced a Tarn Analytics guidance document that is available for download alongside this video. This document includes instructions for requesting access to Tarn Analytics and how to log into the programme. Further support is available via our support help desk. Tarn Analytics opens on the dashboard screen, but you can use the navigation button to view the full list of analytics screens. Simply click on each icon to be taken to the relevant screen. All screens have an information button that you can click further information and you'll see the hospitals you have access to listed across the top of the screen. You can click to view data for each hospital individually or view data for multiple hospitals by pressing the control button on your keyboard and then selecting your chosen hospitals. If we click on the dashboards icon, we are taken to the dashboard screen. Here we find individual charts for each of the dashboard measures. You are presented with the MTC measures initially, but can view TU measures by clicking on the TU measures button. You are initially presented with data for the full date range available, but you can select any individual reporting period or combination of periods. You can do this by clicking on the relevant year and quarter. Here we are viewing data for 2019 quarter one. If, for example, we want to view all quarters for 2019, we can press the control button on our keyboard and then select all quarters of the year, which I am doing now. Each time we make a new date selection, the score for each measure changes to reflect this. If you hover your mouse over a measure, you will see a pop-up explaining your score and the national average. If we return to the navigation tool, we can select a different screen, for example, demographics. On this screen, we can see a variety of different charts relating to demographic factors. In the column on the right side of the screen, we can view the date range used and amend this if necessary by clicking on the date selection. In this example, I'm choosing the 1st of January 2019 to the 30th of June 2019. We are then shown the total number of submissions for the chosen date range, the number of direct admissions, the average length of stay and average injury severity score. You can select any of the demographic details to view data for a particular group of patients, for example by clicking on vehicle incidents in the injury mechanism chart to view data for patients involved in this type of incident only. To remove the filter, simply click on the selected item again. You can combine multiple filters by pressing the control button on your keyboard and clicking on your chosen factors. For example, we can view patients involved in large falls who have an injury severity score of more than 15. And you can see which filters have been applied by hovering your mouse over the filter icon. On some screens, we have the option to view patient lists. So if we navigate to the head and spine injury section, and click on imaging and operations, we can see this option. We can apply any date filter we require or select any other filter, for example, choosing a specific date range, and then view a list of patients relevant to this selection. To do this, simply click on show patient lists. We can then view the submission numbers of all relevant patients and can use the submission link icon to open each individual TARN submission. We can export the data to Excel by clicking on the menu option, which looks like three dots, and then clicking export data. We suggest you use the summarized data option and then click on export to open in Excel. More detailed information on the content of Tarn Analytics is available in the guidance document on our website. If you require further support, please contact our support help desk.